Hey everybody, Brooks here, First Baptist Church of the Islands. Hope you're having a great day. I am standing just outside of our kind of an entry foyer on the Johnny Mercer part of our uh, worship center entrance, right here near the corner of Johnny Mercer Boulevard and Penwaller Road. And so I'm here for a reason, and I know it's loud, but I want you to hear the street noise back behind everything that I say today, because there's a reason that you need to hear those noises. There's a reason you need to hear those sounds. But before I get to that, I wanna just ask a question. You know, I'm gonna assume for a moment that you may be part of a church family, whether that's here at First Baptist of the Islands, or you may live in another city, and uh, these videos have a way of making their way around, and uh, you may be part of a church family somewhere else, in town or in another city or another state. Think about your church family for a moment, and, uh, and I want you to answer this question. When you look at your church, do you see church more as something that you get something from or something that you add to, right? Is church for you primarily an entity where you come in and you look for what you can get from your church or do you look at church as something that you can bring something to? There is a huge distinction between those two mentalities and those two views of church. You know, for a lot of us, and myself included at different times of my life, I've seen church as something I get something from, right? I go and I listen to a pastor, or I hear God's Word taught, or I get to hang out with my friends, or I hear great music, right? And, and yet when we come in with that mentality, all those things are helpful, right? There's a place for all of that. But if we're not careful, we can slip into a consumer mindset where church is just another entity you know, in, in our lives where we come and we just look to get something from it. What I wanna challenge you with today is to see church not primarily as something you get something from, but you begin to really grapple with the question of what do I bring to my church? What do I bring to it? First Corinthians 12 says that all of us as believers, as followers of Jesus, have been given certain spiritual gifts, right? And even on top of those spiritual gifts, you have talents in your life that God has given you. Uh, you have a certain way of looking at life that is specific to you. It's been shaped by your experiences, shaped by your personality. Uh, you have so many different aspects of your life that make you unique. And at the same time, those qualities make you very valuable to the kingdom of God so that when you step into your church, whether that's here or another church where you're a part of, when you step into that, that uh, entity called the local church, God desires to use your life, not just those who work in the church, but your life to make a difference in the lives of people in this world. Every single vehicle that you've seen pass by in the midst of this video is filled with people who are going somewhere. They are headed towards a destination. It may be home, it may be the grocery store, it may be to a ball game, it may be off to work, but they are all going somewhere. And when you think about it, our world is filled with people who are going somewhere. There is an eternal destination that every single person that we cross paths with is headed towards. And that destination is ultimately influenced by one thing, and that one thing is, do they know Jesus in relationship or do they not? The whole role of the church is not just so that we grow in our own spiritual maturity, as important and vital as that is, but the role of the church also is that we influence our world for the sake of the gospel. You bring talents and gifts, Christian. You bring a mentality and certain life experiences that make you incredibly valuable to the work of God in this world. And so my challenge to you is, whether it's here at First Baptist of the Islands or whether it's the church where you're a part of, begin to see church not just as something from which you get what you desire, but begin to see church in addition to that as a place where you bring your passion, your gifts, your talents, your heart, your drive, your perspective, your life to help along with other believers to accomplish God's mission not just in this world, but right there in your own part of the world as well. Hey, I hope you'll not only be encouraged by this today, but you'll have real conversation with God uh, as soon as this video is over and asking him to use your life to make a difference right where he's planted you, in your church and outside your church. And I hope as well you'll share this video and all the others that are part of the Five for Five uh, emphasis to help influence others to be the believers that God's called them to be. If you don't know Jesus, no better time than now to admit your sin and invite him to come and forgive you and take over. You know what? He'll do it because he loves you. You have a great day.